Welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 9th of July. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Now, this evening we are going to celebrate the Blessed Adrian Fortescue. Uh, there's nobody in the uh, Anglican calendar, so we'll to another Catholic saint. So, uh, Adrian Fortescue was born to the English nobility, son of Sir John Fortescue and a cousin of Anne Boleyn. Made a knight of Bath in 1503, frequently serving in the royal court of King Henry VIII. Uh, he fought for England in France in 1513 and 1522. He was married twice and father of seven. He was made a knight of St John in 1532 and he collected several lists of proverbs and folk sayings, often writing them in the margins of his Book of Hours. On the 29th of August 1534, for reasons never explained, he was arrested by the King's order and imprisoned for several months. Arrested again on the 3rd of February 1539 and sent to the Tower of London. Without trial, he was condemned to death in April for treason, though no specific act was alleged, only general sedition and refusing allegiance, a consequence of his loyalty to Rome. And so he was born in 1476 in Punsbourne, Hertfordshire, and uh, he was beheaded on the 9th of July, 1539. So that's information about the Blessed Adrian. Fortescue. So let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. And tonight we're doing BCP Compline. And there, top left, you will see a painting of the Blessed Adrian Fortescue. So let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, who resist steadfast in the faith. For thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. And we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week, bring our thoughts and concerns to God, remembering how much we are in need of his grace and mercy. We say together, we confess to all God, to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We listen to the Casaldo 6 and their version of Te Luchis and Te Tempnum. Our psalm this evening, Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, may only makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from <clears throat> Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And again, the Gazalda sings with the Nunc Dimittis. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? 
O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Let us pray to God for strength and perseverance in his service. Bless the church with the spirit of holy poverty, not to trust in wealth or power, but only in the enabling of her Lord. Make her ministers faithful heirs of the disciples who were first called to perform great works in a strength not their own. Have mercy on a world where many are so anxious for material things that they do not recognise the better way that is open before them. Give to those who hold authority the grace not to be imprisoned in their own power, but to see and learn where there is true wisdom. Do we continue our prayers for all places of war and conflict. Give us light to see the gifts of God in all around us, to honour his presence in our families and friends and neighbours, Open our hearts and our homes to receive those who are sent to be among us. Have mercy on all who are sick and bless those who care for them. And we lift to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. Give them comfort and hope in their affliction. Release those who are in the power of evil and restore them to wholeness of life. We pray for those who have walked in the way of the Lord through this world and have come to their journey's end, including Tony Crump, Anne Hudden, Alwyn McIntyre, Monica Payton, Julie Hudden, Kathleen Cummings, Irene Wiley, John Tyers and Tony Underwood. May they be at peace in the great family of the faithful departed. We pray in the name of Christ, our brother, and our Redeemer. Amen. And the Collect. <clears throat> o God, since all things are within your power, grant through the prayers of blessed Adrian, your martyr, that we who keep his peace today may become stronger in the love of your name and hold to your holy church, even at the cost of our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we, who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world, may repose upon the eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord. For it is toward evening when the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and to make thyself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this evening. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet, and safe night look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.